Well, this morning I had the bright orange sunrise shuka. This evening I have my deep red sunset shuka. Okay, now I did promise I was going to show you uh, the endemic bird of Kenya, although it's not truly endemic only to Kenya. It is endemic to Kenya and Tanzania. Jandre, how is that for you? It is called the Sakuko Scops Owl. So there are quite a few different variations of Scops Owls through Africa. Uh, the most variant uh, happen to be in the rainforests. But there we go. It occurs only in a tiny patch. I'm going to change to the, the map. Two tiny patches of forest in Kenya and Tanzania. There we go. That is the most endemic raptor in East Africa. Now, tomorrow, so no one gets confused, we are going back to normal drive times that you are used to at Juma, because the show will be coming out at Juma, while us here in the Mara do what we do in the Mara, where shukas stay up all night and such. Um, but of course, it is going to be exciting. I think there will be some Mara feeds coming out of us tomorrow. But uh, keep an eye up on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, on the Safari Live pages, if you are unsure on how the drive schedules are going to be working for the next little while. Geraldine likes a spreadsheet. She likes a timetable. She will be keeping you well updated. Now, there was one other thing I had to tell you, and now I can't remember. Rebecca, can you remember what was the last thing I had to tell you? I think it might be nothing from Rebecca. I think it might have been in my head. Yes, it was in my head. It was, um, unfortunately, we just didn't quite get the time to go into Maasai culture. So I'm um, going to tell you a little Maasai folklore. I'm still quite puzzled by it, trying to work out the meaning of it. It's called the elephant and the hare. Now, the hare was on the banks of the Mara River, and the elephant was heading to his father-in-law. There were two elephants, and the hare said, Oh, you're so big and so rich, and I'm so small and I'm so weak. Please give me a lift across the river. The elephant was feeling quite giving, so it said, sure, little hare, picked it up, popped it on its back. Now, on the elephant's back was a gift of honey for his father-in-law, and uh, the hare, on crossing the river, could not help himself and scoffed all the honey. And then he said, oh, Mr. Elephant, get me some stones so I can throw them at the birds to protect your honey. So the elephant said, oh, you're such a kind little hare. Here are the stones. The, must, uh, the hare then put the stones in the, in the basket that it was carrying the honey, and the elephant went off uh, to visit the father-in-law. Now, on arriving, they noticed that the hare had eaten all the honey, so they charged back towards the river uh, to take their vengeance. The hare saw them coming and ducked into a hole. Elephant immediately put his trunk into the hole and tried to grab the hare and caught the hare by the leg. The hare laughed and said, ha ha, you've got a root. So the elephant let go of the hare and grabbed the root. And then the hare screamed, you're killing me, you're breaking me. And uh, the elephant then tried to tug on the root, but it was from a great big tree and couldn't succeed. The hare snuck past the elephant's trunk and ran. The elephants chased after it. The hare ran to baboons and said to, please, baboons, protect me from this great rich, being the operative evil elephant that is trying to kill me. The, the baboons promised that they would. On, upon arriving at the baboons, the elephant said, have you seen an evil little hare? The baboon said, well, we will only tell you if you give us a cup of blood. The elephant agreed. The baboons shot an arrow, which is how the Maasai extract the blood uh, from a cow to drink, into the elephant's neck and started pouring blood into a gourd. However, there was a hole at the bottom and the elephants started feeling a little lighter. They said, surely you have enough blood by now. And the, the baboon said, no, no, look, are you, are you weak? Are you scared? Can you not fill a tiny gourd? And the elephant eventually bled to death. And the hare never had to worry about the elephant again. Now, as I said, I still can't learn out the meaning of, meaning of that story, but I am doing quite a lot more research into Maasai folklore and culture. So I hope, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that little Maasai story. But we're going to say goodbye. Remember to keep an eye on the Facebook page and Twitter for drive times, as it can be a little bit confusing while we're operating in two different time zones. But across to Jamie, who's apparently competing with my fashion for the evening.